All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, as promised, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the order of operations in parentheses and how to use it whenever you're working with C programming. So let's go ahead and might as well get our hands dirty, and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about and the problems that you might run into. So let's just go ahead and make an integer called a, and we'll set this equal to a real simple equation, 4 plus 2 times 6. And then we'll just go ahead and print it out on the screen, print F. And of course, just go ahead and print D and bump that to a new line. Actually, let me go ahead and put this result, that new line, and of course, print now A. Now I actually want to copy this and do I want to do it now? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and run it now. So this equation right here, you might be thinking this, okay, 4 plus 2, that's 6, times it by 6, 36, piece of cake, run this, and 16. Okay, so I'm an idiot, what did we do wrong? Well, I don't know if you guys, I'm, I'm sure you do learn about the order of operations already, I don't know how old you guys are watching this tutorial, but basically, the order of operations in real life is the same as they are in C programming. So I learned like PEMDAS, I think, which is parentheses, exponents. Um, for now, just remember that multiplic multiplication and division come first and then addition and subtraction. Meaning that whenever you have an equation that has both multiplication and addition, what it's gonna do is it's gonna do your multiplication first. That's kind of a tongue twister. So it's gonna times six times two which is 12 and then add 4. However, what if we actually wanted to add 2 to 4 which is 6 and then multiply it by 6? Well, whenever we want to do that, we actually need to... Do I want to make a new variable? No, I'll just stick with this A. So whenever we want to do that, actually I can just copy this. Then here's what we do. Just like in real life, again, surround the thing you want to do first with parentheses. So you can use parentheses basically to overrule the rules of math. So right now, we're saying always do the things in parentheses first. So now what we're going to do is um, you do this equation first, which is 6, and then times the result by 6. And hopefully, if my computer is not broken, it would print out 36. So again, the first one is just the default way of, I don't know, just like how math works. And the second one, we overwrote it and used parentheses to make our own um, equation, I guess you could say. Now, another thing that I want to teach you guys, since this was kind of a short tutorial, do I want to teach you guys this now? Actually, I got to vent a little bit, and I want to save this for the next tutorial. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, you guys can check out the next video, but if you guys want to stick around, listen to the story. So last night, um, a couple people came over and we were just hanging out out front because I don't know, that's what we do for fun. And this stupid cat walked right up to me because my neighbor, she left and she was like a cat lady and she left all our cats here. So now they walk around my house. So this cat walked up to me and I'm allergic to cats. So I'm like, get the heck away, cat. And this girl named Emma, who was uh, with me, she's like, hey, don't be mean to the cat. And I'm like, whatever. And she wanted me to feed the cat. And I'm like, no way I'm feeding this cat. So she went in my house and she was going to get some food for the cat so she could feed it. I guess she felt bad for it or something. And you know what she walks out with? A bagel. A freaking, a freaking, <laughs> a freaking bagel. I'm like, Emma, what are you doing? What the heck? And I tried to like explain to her that cats don't eat bagels. And she's like, eh, it'll be fine. My dog eats bagels. And so I'm like, wow, really? So eventually I just let her do her thing. So she actually sets the bagel down. And I was scratching my head because in my house, I actually had a couple cans of tuna fish that she could have got. But she sets the bagel down. And I'm like, this cat is like gonna like flip you the finger. And the cat actually starts eating the freaking bagel. And I'm like, I'm like, what the heck? And now I look like an idiot because this stupid cat is eating this stupid bagel. And I don't know. So so that's basically uh, the story of my night. And now the cat always comes around and meows whenever I'm making tutorial because, I don't know, I guess he just wants more freaking bagels. So if you hear meowing in the background, it's that stupid cat. Blame Emma. Anyways, I'll see you next time.